Okay, so what we have here, you guys will touch it after. Okay? What we have. Whoa, guys. Everybody, eyes here, shut. If you're talking too loudly, you can't hear what I have to say. So what I have here is we have the larynx, and also here, I have this little part here. You see, it opens and closes, okay? This little part is in the back of your throat, and this is the epiglottis, okay? Because this is where the airway starts, and it goes through inside here. And right here, this is the esophagus. This is where the food goes, okay? So the epiglottis is right there, so it, blo it blocks this so it can go the food can actually go into here all right good so we can't really see it very well on the camera but what there is inside here there's a goes in and actually goes a kind of like little v section and that little v section that's where your vocal cords are so when you would actually have laryngitis and then say you're you can't talk well it's the inflammation that's inside here okay this is the larynx now the esophagus is right here in the back as you can see, I can actually put my finger in and it slides all the way down. Now when you eat food, you chew your food, once you swallow the food, it's not called food anymore, it's called the bolus. And then the bolus goes inside here in your esophagus. Now, it goes down through your esophagus, it doesn't just slide down, it could because it's very, very, you know, slippery inside. But what it does is it goes down by peristaltism. Ooh, I think I got it right. Peristalsis, yeah. Okay, the peristalsis, it's a movement, because this is a whole muscle, okay? And the muscle, what it does, it contracts, and it makes the food go down. It contracts, food go down. So it's like when you're um, taking the toothpaste, the toothpaste out of the toothpaste tube, and you're pressing, and it's coming out, it's the same thing. So it's going down, 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 still there, down, down, down. And, of course, since this is on the upper respiratory tract, we do not have the digestive system as well. Well, they cut it off, and here is the other end of the esophagus. So you can actually see the inside, the nice inside of the esophagus, okay? So that drops into, guys, what do you think that drops into? The the exactly. So this is the esophagus. It would go down here, and then there's this opening right here, and then you would have your stomach on the other side. Now, this here is a big giant muscle, it's usually closed, it can actually open, so this is one of the sphincters that's attached to your uh, stomach, so that it actually makes that when you eat your food and it's inside your stomach, if you go lie down, or you decide to do cartwheels after eating, the food doesn't just go back up into your mouth, okay? That would be fine. Yeah. And we don't want that when we're lying down. So this actually goes down and closes so that the food doesn't go back up. Now, if you have um, acid reflux disease, sometimes that's caused because people don't eat properly, they eat a lot of fatty foods, and it makes that you have more acid, and it can actually burn the muscle right here, and it can actually even go attack the, um, the esophagus. And if it attacks the esophagus, then you can actually have really bad problems. And that's why also it feels like it's burning when you actually have acid reflux. Okay? Good? Perfect. Now, this is the trachea. Okay? So you can see the trachea. It's all hard. It's all bumpy. Okay? This is all cartilage. It's all cartilage rings. Okay? But they're not actual rings. They don't go in a circle. They're actually made like a C. Okay? Because they go around here. But in the back, there's a little gap. Okay? And that little gap's important because, you know, has it ever happened to you that you chew something and then you swallow it, but you swallow it a bit too fast and then you have a big giant chunk going down and it hurts all the way going down? Well, what happens is that it's in your esophagus, but it's really big in your esophagus and then your esophagus needs to stretch. So what does it do? It stretches and takes a little bit of part inside your trachea. Okay? So and that's why it hurts when it goes down. So... That is why it's actually, the trachea is not a whole ring, it's actually just a C. Okay? Good? Perfect. And the trachea goes down, goes down, goes down, all the way over here, okay? And it breaks into two parts. Since this is the last time I'm using this guy, I'm going to be cutting up, up sooner. But before, I want to go through all of it, and then we'll cut it so we can see all the different parts. Yes, what? Are you going to give it a touch it? Yes. Okay? Ugh, I don't want to. Alright, so, 
This is the bronchi. The bronchi is split into two parts. It goes through all over the lungs and inside the lungs. Then you actually have the bronchioles pretty much everywhere. I have a little piece here that you can look in after where you can see there's tiny, tiny, tiny little parts right there and right there. Those are the bronchioles. And the bronchioles that feed air into this little sac that actually has a lot of the alveoles in here and this one as well. Okay? Yes? Can we like simulate what it is? When it's decent, like what happens to the lungs. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll inflate the lungs after, okay? okay? All right, so now if we look at the lungs, okay, you have the lungs here. Here, we, lungs have different, have separate lobes. So you have a lobe here, you have a lobe here, and then you have also this lobe right here. And on this side, I have this huge, giant, thick, thick lobe. And then I have this one. Can somebody tell me why this lobe is really, really, really big and this one is actually thinner? Yes? Because it's, well, this I think it's because it's used more than the other one, and so it needs to be stronger. Um, so it's, it's a good guess, but no, it's not really the reason. Yes? <laughs> okay, anybody else? If you look at the picture that you have in front of you, what do you think could actually make oh, a difference? The heart. Oh, Harry. the heart. The heart, okay? Oh, the, heart. the heart is behind this lung. Not behind this lung. So, what are we going to do? lungs are a bit smaller than this set of lungs, okay? And it happens that's for, everyone. that's for everyone, okay? The animals and, well, animals that have hearts and us, okay? All right, which animal does not have a heart? I don't know. I don't know why I said that. Okay, so this is the heart that's right here, and then you can see all the nice lungs, okay? So the nice lungs, they're very, very delicate, okay? They're very, very soft. When you're going to come up here and touch them, you'll see they're very smooth, and they're very, very light as well. They're very fragile, so when you come and touch them, be very careful so you don't damage them, okay? Um, the heart, we even have this, which actually covers the heart. So we have a little bag made specifically just for the heart, okay? So this is all uh, connective tissue that actually holds the, the things in your body in place because when you're standing up, you don't want your lungs and heart to also go down. And then, you know, when you're doing a handstand again, that you have it up in your head. So this is all connective <laughs> tissue that actually holds it in place. So it's like, you know, if you go to Toys R Us and you buy yourself a toy, and it's in the box, and then you take it out of the box, and that thing is like jammed there. It doesn't move, and then you have to take off all the ties that are inside of it. This is what the connective tissue does. It just holds everything in place inside your body. As long as you don't take it out of the package. Well, right now, see, it's inside of the package, so it's moving around. <laughs> All right. Yes. What's your question? Uh, can you show us the pulmonary artery? It's there, right? Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. Right there. Yeah. Okay. The artery goes to the lungs. Pardon me? <laughs> yes, but a lot less fast than if you cut the uh, aorta. The aorta. Remember, I talked about that main artery that goes down. Oh, shoot. I mixed them up. I was trying to say that. No, it's okay. It's all right. You got the right idea. All right. So now, going back to the lungs. So we have yep. all the lungs. And then, what's at the bottom, bottom of our lungs? The esophagus. No, the diaphragm. Why does this? I don't know. So this here. This is your diaphragm. So the diaphragm is actually placed all really nice. It goes all the way to the bottom of your respiratory system you can actually see here there's all the muscle that goes all the way around so this is all the muscle that's attached to your rib cage it's part of the rib so this is nice and meaty so this is exactly like steak uh, people could eat lungs yeah and then this is the diaphragm i don't think so because the diaphragm 
look at it. Okay, this it's is not muscle. Hot. Okay, this is not muscle. Okay, this is um, I keep forgetting if it's epithelial tissue. It's the same tissue that's the same thing that makes your nails and your hair. Okay, so it's really, really hard, really tough. Yeah. Okay, and the thing is, like, see, it's really, really, really tough right here. So the thing is that I can't rip it even if I wanted to, like, uh, with my hands, which I'm not. And then you'll see with your fingers, if you try to push in it, it's very, very tough because it's right there. And you want it to be nice and tough. It's just the muscles, when they contract and they relax. And they contract and then they relax. That's what makes a difference. Okay? Good? Is that what makes it feel weird? Yeah. You remember when we did the lung model? That, you know, we saw that the diaphragm, that's what actually makes the volume change. Why is there a hole in the middle of the diaphragm? Exactly. So why is there a hole right here? Well, it's because you need some blood. So there's actually some uh, arteries or veins that actually pass through this hole. There's this hole right here where you have your stomach. And this guy, this is a bonus for when they cut it. You see this beautiful, beautiful little brown thing? That's liver. It's just a tiny, tiny, tiny part of the whole liver. The whole liver would take, a, uh, would take this whole part right over here. Okay? So this is one part of the liver that's right here as well. Okay? So what I'm going to do, Mr. Tom's going to help me out for this. Is Mr. Tom going to give CPR for this thing? Uh -huh. Yes, mouth to mouth. <laughs> oh, I got to There's mouth. There's a mouth okay, there's the mouth right there yep. on the bottom. Oh, that's broken. Connect it to here. Yeah. Yeah. It's not going to be the blue. Oh, no, it's not going to be the blue. No, it's not going to be the blue. If ever you go to the hospital, okay, and um, you can't breathe properly, they have to intubate you. So they have this metal thing that opens up your mouth, and then they put a tube in. Okay, let's turn it. All right, so you put the tube in. Okay, right now, I'm adding the tube. The tube is going really far down, okay? Oh, that's actually really nice. So the tube is actually all the way into here, so I think it even slid into one of the... Oh yeah. So this one should actually inflate because I think I got it inside of this bronchi, okay? So let's go, Mr. Tam. More and more and more. Faster, faster, faster. Oh. That is weird. Faster, faster, faster. No, 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 no. Watch it exhale, guys. Listen for it. Quiet. You, do you hear that little yeah, sigh? Yeah. The, that's the exhale. Sounds like balloon. Yeah. Okay. Look. Last time. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> this part is. I know. All right. So we can actually see the, all the individual sacs starting to swell up because they're filling up with air and the lungs are actually have a little bit of elasticity in it so that when you let go the air actually they can go get out of there on its own without actually the diaphragm having to push it with the volume okay everyone understand that yeah. all right it actually looks more funky on the tv because it's so hot if that when you look at it <laughs> no I think a lot of it looks like a steak. <laughs> okay. So right now, what I'm doing... So what I'm doing... <laughs> Guys, if at any time you feel, all of a sudden you feel queasy, you feel dizzy, you feel like cold sweats, sit down on the floor, put your head between your knees, okay? I don't want to hear anybody fall off their chairs. Yeah, sitting on the floor is, is the best because there's less distance to go, right? If you, if you do. No, it's true. This is what we always do when people are feeling pain. Okay? So this is connective tissue that actually holds the everything together again. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to cut inside. 
for a texture of it's so weird. I know. That is so Typically, I feel with organs, the texture so looks very weird. This looks like a yellow. Oh my God. We're not used to seeing it. Well, you were blowing it up. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,